Hello everybody, this is Thor Young. I'm a moderator with Bear Bull Traders and I would like to talk to you today about the Falling Angel Strategy. The Falling Angel Strategy is a strategy that we tend to use a lot here at BBT. It's a very interesting strategy. It's a little counterintuitive so it takes a little bit to use and get into. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about it and, and show you how I take it and how we're using it and uh, you know, see if you guys can add this into your toolbox. Now, before um, I get going, one thing that's really important on the Falling Angel strategy is you need to make sure you're in an actual catalyst stock. It's a really important part for the strategy's to success is to make sure you're trading it in a stock that gives you a higher probability that it's going to work in the first place. Right. So if you want to know what your catalyst stocks are and where the best levels are to trade off of, then obviously our pre-market show is going to be a good spot for you. Check that out. Um, ring the bell. And if you happen to like the video, throw me a like. That'd be awesome. And uh, and we'll go off of that. So without further ado, the rising devil. So I've been trading um, SPY. SPY had a really nice, um, you know, catalyst today. You could tell it was um, trending up very nicely in pre-market. It actually had really nice relative volume considering. And it had come up here and it was pretty well up here. And you can see we actually consolidated in this range after a sell up for a long time before it finally broke up and set pre-market high right before the open at 1530. Now, the most of these types of strategies, which is like a rising devil or a falling angel or a, a climatic, you know, some kind of a climatic strategy, uh, knife catch, any of those kind of things, they're generically all predicated upon the same basic concept, which is you're in a stock that is trending in a direction and you're going to um, anticipate, if you will, um, an action, but try and get in for that trend. So as you can see here, Snap was pushing up right pre-market. I set this level here on Snap because it was a high volume area pre-market. All right, and it also happened to be where it did a little bit of an ascending triangle. So one thing I noticed when I was looking to the level two was that there was a lot of bids still sitting below fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety, and fourteen eighty. Those are you know buyers getting ready to get into a position, but they don't want to chase in. They want to get a nice fill at a lower level. That's where the big money was sitting, and I really wanted to um, I really wanted to surf uh, with that big money. So what uh, what you do on a falling angel? or a rising devil, but in this instance we're going to get a falling angel, is what you're going to do is you're going to wait for the stock to open. When the stock opens, it's going to sell off very heavily at the open. This is a strong stock like Snap is today. Why it sells off is because there's lots of people that have been holding their position and it's gapped up overnight. So first thing when the market opens, they want to ensure they get good profits, so they're going to sell off. Also, you're going to have a lot of people who are going to want to get into the position. So as soon as the stock sells off well, that's where you're going to be looking for your signal. The signal will be once it bounces off of those key levels, you're going to want to see an influx of buying. You want to see a lot of green printing on it, and you're going to see it reclaim key levels. So as you saw here, we dropped down, we bounced off of those large bids and came back up towards VWAP on some really nice buying. As soon as we got back to VWAP, um, we were just above $15. I went ahead and went long. My stop loss was only about five cents if I lost $15 plus a little slippage. It's a very tight strategy. You're getting right in, you're getting right out. If it doesn't work, it's going to go against you and it's going to be a negative play big time. So once you get in, if it stalls and goes back down, you get right out, okay? So it comes back up here, it holds, I get long at 15. Stop loss is basically the loss of 15. All right, a few pennies for slippage. You can see here it came right over, formed a new candle, held, and then broke up very nicely. I got partials all the way to pre-market high, and then all the way up to this high volume area right up here. All right, now there was a large ask sitting on the level two here, which is, you can see, I'm take partials generically in front of large asks, because normally as the price runs for those asks, it'll hit them, and then it'll stall off of them a little bit, come back down, and then it has to build momentum back up. So you can see here, I got a partial grab here, and then it came down, found VWAP again, held VWAP nicely, and pushed back up. So naturally, great position to add. Went ahead and added in here. My new adjusted stop loss was the loss of these candles here at 1511. So I was able to get right back into my position nicely and got another good set of pops all the way up to what is still currently the, um, or what was up to about 1564. Came back, started to hold pre-market high here. I went ahead and added in one more time, got some good partials, but then eventually stopped out, boo. 
Um, so once I get stopped out, that means my current play is invalidated. So what I have to do is I have to wait, and I have to wait for another good play. Um, in order to avoid today's chop, I try not to just jump in and out of trades and try and, you know, the concept is you don't really want to make the trade happen. You know, it's, that's not going to be, it's not going to work that way. You're going to have a lot of trouble with it. Rather, you just wait for those moments and you just go with them, you know, look for what's going on. And you're just, you know, we call it stock surfing, if you will, where, you know, you're, you're not going to make the wave do anything different than the wave's going to do. You're just going to get on and on a board and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So once we came back up here, we started holding really nicely at this high volume area that I have here with my POC. And you can see here, we had a couple of topping tails that looked like as it wicked up and kept getting blown down. But really it was the market was dropping and it was finding a little bit of trouble um, getting the buyers to really jump in with that happening. But it looked really good and once the market started to bounce and look strong, I went ahead and got back in above for the uh, break of 1550 and high of day, which we definitely got took some key partials. It was a really tight stop once I got in. Um, I was only looking at another five cents again, so I was able to get some quick partials on this one, and I've got partials all the way up to just shy of 16. There was a huge ask at 16, still sitting there, as you can see, 9.30 and 4.60. So I took a partial actually at 15.95 right here, and I took the partial there, not just because there were large orders, but it gave me a really good fill priority. So didn't have to have a lot of shares get filled in order for me to get grabbed there. So I got a partial and you can see we're kind of downtrending there. After that, SPY also cracked and started to fall down. So we've got a couple different things going on here for managing this trade. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got some, uh, we got some ads. We've got a high a day breakout. We've got a, um, a uh, falling angel. Um, strategy with another ad so a lot going on here but if you're patient and you wait on these trades there's really lots of good moves to be had the biggest place where you're going to struggle as a trader is impatience and not being willing to trade your strategy as you are and once you get stopped out for instance this stop out right here I really wanted to get back in at 1531 but I decided to make myself wait for a more significant breakout just to make sure I didn't get back any of that really nice profit that I had already gained during the day. So ending up the day, I'm um, very well over goal today. I'm um, only traded snap today, which made things really nice. So anyway, I hope I uh, had some good information for you all here. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. And as always, keep it green.